What's up guys, I'm back and I got a package in the mail, which is a lovely manila envelope that says do not bend, but I can't tell if it was bent or not. So uh, I'm just gonna open this up and show you what I got. So try not to tape the heck out of this, but Better to be safe than sorry, I guess. Okay, well, he did put it in a nice thick thing of cardboard, so that'll work out, hopefully. <laughs> so, let's see what I got. Now the reason I have my Avengers number four sitting here in the background is this is the first Silver Age appearance of Captain America. Now it can be a pretty pricey book um, depending on like where you look to find it or whatever. I did a lot of shopping around before I bought this one and uh, if you can't afford an Avengers number four. There is a second option, which is this book right here, oh, which on. which is uh, Sergeant Fury and the Howling Commandos, the second Silver Age appearance of Captain America. So this is actually a pretty good book to own in your collection as well. Um, I'm gonna take this out take this out and we're gonna have a look at it and he did pack it pretty good so yeah this is a pretty good book right here I didn't pay a lot for it. It's really cheap to get, um, depending on the quality that you want. But I bought this one, and uh, everything seems to be intact. The cover is attached to the book. The only thing I could see that was really wrong with it when I was going to order it is uh, the corner up here is kind of frayed and. Uh, brittle and uh and then like the top up here has some bending and stuff and I mean it's not like a I didn't get it because it was going to be a good grade or something like that I just got it because I wanted it in my collection and uh And it's a uh, you know Captain America's second Silver Age appearance, so and it is cheap to get. You can see, look like, right there, they got the Nazi U boats, Sergeant Fury, we'll go through this real quick and look at it. And they seem to be watching a video about Bucky and Captain America fighting the Nazis. And uh, let me see who's the, yeah, Jack Kirby, written and drawn by, written by Stan Lee and drawn by Jack Kirby. 
So this is original Jack Kirby artwork right here. So it's like uh, another little piece of history right there. I mean, when I was younger, I didn't really like Jack Kirby's artwork, but now that I'm older and, you know, it's just grown on me and I appreciate it more. And, uh, oh, look, here's Cap right here. I guess they had a bar fight. <laughs> and, uh, you can see there's Captain America and Bucky right there. Yeah, and this is an affordable book if you want to get if you can't afford an Avengers 4 and you still want to get like uh, a Silver Age appearance of Captain America this is one that you can get so it's like uh, and this is in pretty good shape I didn't pay a lot for this book like I think I paid like I think at the most it was like 55 or 60 with shipping so but I just wanted this in my collection. I probably will have it graded. You can see right there. So, I'm going to cap on the bike. Because uh, I don't have a lot of Jack Kirby artwork. But like the stuff that I do have, I like to have it graded. Oh look, there's Dum Dum Dugan, right up here. You know, just letting y'all look at it along with me, so. You know, that's my son in the background, he's playing his game, sorry. Look, more Nazis. Cap and Buck again. I mean, the pages are pretty good color. Oh, look, here we go. There we're talking about shield throw. Bucky getting in a little swing right there. Cap throwing the shield. Getting to the action there, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Bucky, aka the Winter Soldier, later on. So, you know. Like I said, though, if you want an early appearance of Captain America, and I'm not talking about the Golden Age, because I've yet to get a Golden Age. But uh, this will be your next best bet to get is uh, Sergeant Fury and the Howling Commandos, number 13. So, let's see. Yeah. You know, it's so another. And the pages look to be like creamed to off white. So, and I'd probably, on this book, I don't know, I think it'd be like. I mean, the staples are intact, it seems to be. The cover's intact to the book. The pages don't look too bad. Just for, like I said, up in the corners where that it's all brittle and got the chipping going on up there. But see, it's not in the actual, really that bad parts of the book in here. It's just like on the cover. More Nazi soldiers. Nick Fury, and this is like uh, before Nick Fury lost his eye and stuff. So, which I can't wait for the. Uh, oh, look, there's the staples. See, the staples are intact. Mm. 
uh, am waiting for another book that I got uh, from uh, a friend of Reggie Collects or Reggie Simmons. And uh, I think it'll be here Monday. I'll do a video on that one because uh, that's another book that I'm going to have graded along with this one. And uh, you can see there's more Nazis. There's the swastika. There, I guess that's their secret weapon. I got to read this, you know. But just letting y'all get a look at it. At the same time, I'm looking at it. So you know, yeah, some kind of weapon they have. And there's uh, Nick Fury, as he'll be later known, with Sergeant Fury right now. Yeah, just letting y'all look at a little piece of history here, man. But, yeah, this is a pretty, pretty good book to get. Like, if you, like I said, if you can't afford that, get this.